Andy and I have been avid and devoted Mario Party fans since we were both old enough to form cognitive thought that no, the Nintendo 64 does not allow for 5 players and there is no extra controller slot in the back. So, around when Mario Party 2 came out. And now Nintendo is releasing another Mario Party game, but it will include 100 of the best Mario Party minigames according to them. Okay, you can take on that challenge if you want to. But you're gonna have to include THESE minigames I'm going to list right now. By the way, yes, I've played all of them. From Mario Party 1 on the Nintendo 64, also known as Mario Party Bleeding Palms, Nintendo must add the minigame Bumper Balls. Of all the minigames in Mario Party 1, Bumper Balls is the most fun. It's the zaniest and relies entirely on your awareness of how fast characters are coming at you, how far you're going to bounce, and if you can counter them. In most cases you can't, you find yourself being dragged away by a blooper. But that's okay, at least I didn't pick Paddle Battle. Ah, Mario Party 2, also known as Mario Party 1 again. This is the first Mario Party I remember playing, and I had a damn good time. I rented it from Blockbuster and just played it for a whole day. I went through the whole game, beginning to end. No bathroom breaks, just me and my game. Kinda like now, only I just hold in my need for the bathroom and food. Anyway, the minigame that needs to be added from here is... Speed Hockey! Hands down! In a game that's just Mario Party 1 reskinned, this is one of the few original ones that I love. This one is pure fun. Man, I love Mario Party! Mario Party 3. I don't have a clever name for this one. It's just fun. And it added a whopping 71 minigames to the mix. So many to pick from. So little time to replay them all. I have to be honest, I had a hard time picking one because they were all so much fun. This is clearly the strongest of the trio of Mario Party games on the Nintendo 64. But I have to pick one, and it's going to be... Aces High! This high-flying Star Fox-like minigame will bring back fond memories of destroying asteroids and inevitably being hit from behind. Ah, the good old days. When did things get so complicated? Man, Mario Party 4 was IT when I was young. It was totally IT. It was the thing that got me hooked on Mario Party. I mean, look at this Goomba. You can't not be hooked after seeing him. This game was just fun to the max. Nintendo poured all the fun into this game. The minigames were great, the controls were great, the boards were... great. Yeah. But, we can only pick one minigame, and it has to be... Oh man, there's so many good ones. The others were going to be disappointed when I picked Book Squirm if it wasn't already confirmed for the top 100, so we go to Bob on Breakers. Man, there are so many good ones here. Three Throw, Hide and Go Boom, Trace Race, Team Treasure Trek. Man, it was just really hard to pick because this game had so many good ones, but Bob on Breakers wins it because look at how much fun this one is. I love this game. Oh hey look, it's the best Mario Party, Mario Party 5. As I stated, it's the best one. Since Pushy Penguins has already been confirmed, we'll have to pick something else. It's going to be Panic Pinball, and Andy and I decided this years ago. Before Mario Party 8 came out, we knew it was the best minigame in the best Mario Party game. It is by far the best of the first five games, and one of the best of the next... however many there are. Mario Party 6 was another winner for me. I still remember getting it on Christmas Day and playing it in my older brother's room on his small fat back TV. He urged me not to get it because it's the same game every year. It might be, but I don't even care. I'm so glad I got it. This game has so many memories attached to it, and the night day system was just so good. I love the different ways it affects the minigames. It's just so much fun. I have to give this one to Lift Leapers. This one's partially due to nostalgia reasons. It's the first minigame we played in this game and the first one I remember getting frustrated at. It's basic Mario platforming with every character and it's just fun. A close second was Snow Brawl, which Andy and I have replayed for hours on end. And here we arrive at the second worst Mario Party game of them all. It is the second worst for reasons you'll find out later. Since Track and Yield has already been confirmed in the trailers, I'll pick a different one. Ugh, I hate this game so much. Uh, which one am I gonna pick? Get the fuck out of my game, Toadsworth! You're the worst! Ugh, this is more like honorable mention for mini games. It goes to Fun Run, which is one of the best mini games of this game, even though the game is about as fun as a sandpaper and scorpion sandwich. Mario Party 8. This game is an interesting beast. You see, it is part of our collection because we sold it back to and bought it back from GameStop three times. It is a fun game by all means, and it's all bright and stuff, but it's just... long. It's very boring to Mario Party fans. Play it for more than 20 turns and it just gets very... boring. But the minigames, the minigames were pretty great. Some of the best in the series. I hope a handful of these make it into the top 100. This one goes to Mosh Pit Playroom. There were a few runners up like Shake It Up, Thrash and Crash, and Punch a Bunch, but Mosh Pit Playroom is the best callback to earlier Mario Party games that I can think of, and it deserves to be in the top 100. I'll be the first guy to celebrate if it does. 
with a mosh pit. Mario Party 9, the first trip down we f***ed up lane by eliminating the ability to traverse a Mario Party map by yourself. Instead, you and everyone else sit in a car and take turns moving it about. There are bits of levels you can traverse on your own, but it's rare and wrong. Just let me experience this fantastical adventure without being tied to these three other losers. Ugh. Well, besides that, this game has some more of the funnest minigames in the series. Seriously, they are just so damn great. My vote goes to Magma Mayhem. It is the best of them all. There are close seconds, but Magma Mayhem is one you can spend hours playing and not get tired of. Andy and I still jump back to this game just to play this minigame. Oh, hey Mario Party 10. How are you? Doing fine? Great. I'm just gonna pick one of your minigames inside your game. There we go. Mario Party 10 is the quintessential Mario Party game. You have Bowser Party, which is Mario Party 10 mode, then you have Regular Party, which is Mario Party 9 mode, and then you have the third mode, which is Mario Party's 1 through 8 mode. You can literally play every way. Yes, it's the same minigames, but you'll still have so much fun. And it looks like I can't pick any of the Bowser Battle minigames for the top 100 for obvious reasons, so let's pick... Bob on Bogey. This minigame is so stressful and it takes so much focus so you don't whack a Bob on lose to your brother for the 10th time, but it's also one of the better ones. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. Not not that one at all. No. Too simple. I give it to Bowser's Tank Terror. All the boss battle minigames pit everyone against each other, but in this minigame it really does feel like everyone wins if you beat Bowser. That's the best part of this one. Also, beating Bowser is pretty nice too. Oh hey look, it's Mario Party Advance. Now this game was... Not very good, but some of the minigames were good. They did well for being 2D and on a small screen. I just wish the game was a bit better. I have to give it to Hammer again because it is the best of most of these and I can replay it for a while without getting bored or angry. It really is a fun minigame and you get to hurl hammers at each other. Look at how much fun it is. Ah, here it is. One of the best Mario Party games. Second best, I'd argue. Mario Party DS. I have spent more time playing this one than any of the others because it is seriously, arguably one of the best ones. It even has a damn story that makes sense until the very end. I'm surprised the DS could handle what was needed to play the game, but I'm extremely glad it did. This game is probably in an award hall somewhere for being so fucking good. The minigame from this one is Hedge Honcho. It takes full opportunities with the touchscreen, making you move leaves out of the way and shoot bugs to get to the end. It's one of the most pulse-pounding minigames in this game because you never know when your brother might move just milliseconds faster than you. Now we come to the 3DS titles, which are really not that great. First up, we have Island Tour. Argue with me as much as you want, but forcing a shut-in like me to find two other people to strap to chairs and play a mode that you need at least three players to play so I can get an achievement is really stupid. Why can't I play with computers like every other fucking mode? Good question! No answers! Alright, let's pick one and get out of here. I guess, uh, Fist of Clouds. Yes, it's similar to Magma Mayhem, but that's literally the only reason it gets this award. Similarities. Either way, I hope they input a Magma Mayhem type minigame with alternate areas to simulate the brawler type minigames from the past. All right, on to Mario Party Star Rush. Holy f Now, I lied at the beginning of this video. I said I played them all. This one I didn't. Well, I didn't play the whole game. I played it for a grand total of 40 minutes. I had to put it down. One day I'll pick it back up, but this game is just absolutely terrible. An awful affront to Mario Party fans everywhere. This is one they should have scrapped and started over on. I do not accept the fact I have to have it in my collection. One day I'll pick it back up again, but today is not that day. All right, let's pick one, I guess. Of the weak ass 53 this game has. Seriously, they should have started over. ND Cube should have gone back to a Mario Party 9 type game, which they also developed. But now they had to push forward with the shit version of Mario Party Island Tour. Okay, uh, the one we pick at random because I didn't play them all and hate this game is Bridge Saw Puzzle. Again, at random, didn't play the whole game, didn't plan to. Goodbye. Well, those are my picks for the mini games that should go into the top 100. I'll be sure to count how many I was right about after it comes out and I get to play the whole thing. Of course, I have reservations as it is being developed by ND Cube, which have failed me in the past. But maybe this will be the home run I've been waiting for them to hit again. Either way, tell me which ones you want to see and why I'm absolutely wrong about my picks in the comments. Which mini games do you want to see in the Mario Party Top 100? Don't pick anything from Star Rush.